It's the 1st of March. I had my, my Mobius book put away, but I've taken it out again because I was reading Chaos Theory, as you do, and I recognized one of my knots. This is um, Edward Lorenz's book on chaos. Here's the knot here. And right away I knew that as, as one of my knots because uh, if these two coils were flipped around this way, I knew it was this knot right here, which is my braid group. Um, this braid knot can be taken apart with a bunch of um, Whitney tricks. You can see when it's just pulled apart, you got the picture as being invisible. You get this right here. It won't form an unknot because this is not reducible. These four loops are the eight twists. Here it is right here. Um, and this is the knot. So I found this knot in my Mobius knots. Here it is here. And here it is here. I drew the knots diagram and the knot notation. You can see that it's not rocket science. They are identical. So then it makes me wonder, why is one of my Mobius knots identical to um, a knot that comes from the Lorenz tractor in chaos theory? And, well, it happens that the Lorenz tractor is very similar to the Rosler tractor, and that actually has the topology of a Mobius strip. So there's a little connection between all four of them. Um, interesting for some, not for others. I looked more closely at this knot, and I took it apart with the Whitney tricks. You can see here's the knot here. We pull this loop outside. It's right here. This loop gets pulled outside. It's down here. Then this gets pulled across itself as if it's invisible to form this last one. And if you just pull it across itself here, it's invisible. you got to avoid making sharp bends, like pinching this off. You get the unknot. Um, but this one here can't make an unknot. The other types of Mobius knots, there's the the ones with three loops and the trefoil core. There's the one with two loops and the non-alternating figure of eight core. Well, they all form unknots when you take them apart with Whitney tricks. So I finally understand how the six crossings of the knot can cancel the eight twists because they have the same connectivity. When I take them apart with Whitney tricks, the last move kills four twists. The two previous kill the other two twists. Um, but there's no way to count how many knots there are because that's uh, an open problem in mathematics that involves counting Euler and orientations, which I know there's there's no way to solve. Um, so interesting for some, really boring for everybody else. <laughs>